Hello, I'm Jim Meyer, CEO of Anchorage Community Mental Health Services. Thank you for your interest in volunteering. ACMHS is the largest community-based provider of mental health services in the state of Alaska. Community-based means that we provide services to clients who are living in the community, with their families, on their own, or sometimes in supported housing situations. We are regularly reviewed by the Council on Accreditation to make sure we are providing high-quality care. One of the requirements is making sure that all of our employees and volunteers are tra properly trained. So thank you for taking the time to watch this short training video. We believe that recovery is possible for all those who are living with mental illness. Recovery may look different for different people, but with supports, everyone can improve their health and wellness and strive to reach their personal full potential. It all comes down to this. We want to do good work with integrity to help our clients and improve their lives. Mental illness can affect anyone, and our client demographics generally reflect those of the state. We serve clients of all ages, and our programs in Anchorage generally fall into three age ranges. Child and Family Services includes the Little Tykes Therapeutic Preschool, the Child Trauma Center at ACMHS, Child and Family Clinic Services, and Parenting with Love and Limits, a structured family support program. Transition Age Youth, clients age 13 to 23 may be served through the Child and Family Clinic or through two programs designed for that age range, Alaska Youth Advocates and Alaska Seeds of Change. Adult services include regular outpatient clinic services, as well as more intensive services for clients who may need that to maintain stability. There are also vocational services that help clients to find meaningful employment. Through Fairbanks Community Mental Health Services, we offer many of the same services to children and adults without some of the specialized programs like Little Tykes and Alaska Seas of Change. I'm Cheryl Mounts, Human Resources Director for Anchorage Community Mental Health Services. As a volunteer, we want to make sure you know who to go to if you have any questions or concerns about anything you see happening during your volunteer time at ACMHS. Your volunteer coordinator is the first person to go to if you have any questions or concerns. If you feel uncomfortable going to the coordinator, you can contact Jessica Cochran, Director of Community Relations, or myself as HR Director. We also have a compliance officer. If you suspect that any staff members are not following proper procedures when it comes to client care, billing, or following our company policies, please contact the compliance officer and department. They will investigate and follow up. It's really important to us at ACMHS that everyone feels comfortable in their work environment. This includes staff, clients, and volunteers. Harassment will not be tolerated. HR 302-12 is a policy that talks about this in more detail, and it's located in the HR binder. You don't need to read every policy in the binder, but we do ask that you read this one carefully. If you have questions about what it means, talk with your coordinator or another supervisor. If at any time you witness harassment or you yourself feel uncomfortable, please contact your supervisor or HR. At some locations like Alaska Seeds of Change, we are working with young adults who are just learning what it means to act appropriately in a work setting. There will be ongoing discussions and training at Seeds with our youth staff and apprentices concerning harassment. Volunteers are welcome to attend these trainings. If you see behavior you feel is inappropriate, please bring it to the attention of your volunteer coordinator or supervisor immediately. Volunteering at ACMHS should be fun, and we encourage joking around and laughing. But to make sure it's fun for everyone, volunteers and staff are expected to conduct themselves professionally and to be courteous and respectful to one another. A couple of other things. ACMHS facilities are drug and alcohol free. Please do not bring these substances into our office or come to our offices under the influence of drugs or alcohol. We also do not allow weapons in our facilities. If you do carry a, a pocket knife, ensure it is closed and in your pocket or bag while in our facilities. Again, if you have any concerns about your time at ACMHS, please contact me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pam Kennedy. I'm the Director of Care Management at ACMHS. 
ACMHS is a healthcare provider and we also provide addiction treatment. This means that we need to comply with state and federal regulations regarding PHI, or protected health information. Most volunteers should not encounter written or electronic PHI in their work. If you do, you'll receive more rigorous training. It's possible you could accidentally come across privacy information. If you come across physical or electronic information that you think may be PHI, please tell your volunteer coordinator immediately. As a volunteer, it is likely you will encounter clients. That's probably why you want to volunteer. Please remember to respect the privacy of clients. While you are volunteering, if you see a client who you know from somewhere else, wait for them to approach you. They may rather not, and that's okay. If you see someone out in the community who you know to be an ACMHS client, don't mention that connection unless they mention it first. Don't take any photos of ACMHS clients while volunteering, and don't share any information you learn about clients outside of the company. Please be especially careful when it comes to social media. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Hi, I'm Jessica Cochran, Director of Community Relations and Communications. We're so glad you're part of our community, and so glad you're taking the time to volunteer with us. We do want to spread the word about the good work we do and the great work that you're doing by volunteering. Feel free to share that you're volunteering with friends and online. Just be sure not to refer to individual clients or their stories. We can share stories about clients if we get specific client permission. When you see stories about our clients on our website, in our newsletter, or somewhere else, we've made sure to get this permission ahead of time. There is a policy on media that can be found at the front of the HR Welcome Book located at each facility. Be sure to have your volunteer coordinator show it to you on your walkthrough, and please read it carefully. If you have any questions, please call, text, or email me anytime. Thanks again for volunteering. We're so glad you're here. Hi, I'm Ken Howell, Corporate Safety Officer and Director of Risk Management. Your safety while volunteering is very important to us. Although not exclusive, a lot of accidents are a result of slips, trips, and falls. So please, watch your feet. And should you observe any kind of hazards or unsafe conditions, please notify your safety coordinator or volunteer coordinator. In the case of an emergency, please follow the directions of ACMHS staff. If you see a situation that would cause you to call 911 in your own home, go ahead and call 911. Then look for your volunteer coordinator for further directions. In a life-threatening situation, which is most unlikely, such as an active shooter scenario, remember the basics as outlined by the Department of Homeland Security. Run, hide, and as a last resort, fight back. And when it is safe to do so, alert others as to what is happening. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and for being a volunteer. Your contribution helps us improve lives in our community. Thank you.